Hi everyone, Metal Breakdown here, so welcome back to another Ramstein reaction. So, uh, I know that recently a lot of people told me, oh, this album is not as good as what they did in the past, and yeah, it might be true, uh, and might be wrong, because it really depends on your taste, on what you love before, what you love now. Uh, the last album came out more than 10 fucking years ago so maybe it's just that your uh, tastes and music change I don't know but to be honest with you guys uh, I don't know only like their biggest hits I don't know all the songs in their discography but uh, in this album so far this will be the seventh song uh, I'm listening to from the brand new untitled album by Rammstein I'm, I'm really pleased with all of them there's not a single song that I did not uh, like so far uh, they were all great, all bringing something different to the sound, but you might disagree with that. That's perfectly fine. We all love different things and would be really boring if we, if we would all listen to the same music and all love the same music. But uh, so far, I have nothing bad to say about this brand new album by Rammstein. Uh, the song that we are doing today, I'm not trying this time around with the German name because I will probably just fuck it up and I don't want to do that, so... I'm going with the English translation, so the song is called What I Love. Uh, could be about all the things you love in life, but I don't think it will be about that. I think it will be probably again about sex or about some fucked up shit. That's what we'll find out. Uh, like I usually do for my Rammstein's reactions, uh, we will listen to the song, uh, so I'll talk about it more uh, like vocally, instrumentally, but not about the lyrics yet. And after that, I'll take the lyrics in, in English and we'll be able to do a full lyrical analysis uh, after we are done listening to the song. So yeah, and again, uh, the songs will be cut. Uh, I have to do the cuts because otherwise YouTube don't let me put it on YouTube. It would it will just get blocked right away as soon as it's on YouTube. It's not even YouTube themselves that are like, oh, we are putting down this video. It's really uh, automatic as soon as YouTube sees that uh, this song, What I Love, is used entirely in the video. They just block it right away. Uh, so, yeah, not even their fault, probably because of the label. I don't know, but uh, it sucks, and that's why I have to do some cuts. Anyway, let's listen to this song already, guys. So, uh, now we are going to react to What I Love by Rammstein. This is so weird so far. It doesn't sound like Rammstein. It's like the beginning of the 80s. Rock song or something, pop song even. <laughs> but it's super well produced once again. It's like super punchy. I the drum sounds insane. And now there's some melodies to go with it. Yeah, I can take that. I wonder where this song will go though. But I kind of understand better why now, why people were complaining. A lot of songs are starting really slowly. It's not bad, but for some people who want some straight on your face talk, I might understand the complaints. And now I feel like the action is coming. I don't know why this round reminds me a bit of Marilyn Manson. It's really getting good. I was not convinced with the the verse, but now the chorus is red, and the rev that is following it. Wow, great stuff! So now it's calming down again, but I get the vibe of the song better, and it feels good. Only the second time that I hear this pre-chorus because we heard it once in the song and it sounds great. And the chorus is definitely a 10 out of 10. Wow. Just listen to that. Wow. 
I was not convinced at first, but now it could be one of my favorite of the album so far. That great. The production is just so fucking on point. Listen to that guitar. That's how it should sound. Come on, bring back the riff, I need it. Come on, come on. Oh, and after all, they bring back the chorus, which is good to me because, yeah, the chorus is, might be my favorite one of, of the album so far. That great. I really want to hear like the red bam 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 one last time. I feel like we'll get it. Come on. Oh, only like eh. could have uh, been there at least like four times, like bam bam bam, or three times. I don't know, but uh, that song was great. Uh, like I said, might be my favorite one so far. Yeah, that great. Uh, um, Ostlander was also pretty fucking good. I know a lot of people have something against this one, but on the other end, I saw people saying that it's the best song on the album. So, yeah, they were all bringing something different to the song. Uh, the last one, uh, the one about the prostitute, uh, the one uh, in which his sister was a prostitute was so fucking weird, but still pretty interesting. Uh, so I don't know guys, um, can't wait to listen to the rest of the album, we still have like four more reactions, so uh, we'll continue like that, I'll try to do the next one, Diamond, it's only 2 minutes and 34 seconds though, so I don't know if it's really a real song, maybe it's just a short one, so we'll see, after that we have Far Away, Tattoo, and uh, Allo Man, so will be interesting for sure uh can't wait to listen to the rest of it but so far with seven songs they did a great job so they only need to keep up the same uh talent and passion for the last four and this album will be really good in my opinion so yeah uh now it's time to analyze the lyrics so uh with some comments i read on the internet some say uh it's about like the fear of commitment like in a relationship because you don't want to get hurt so you just kind of stay away from it maybe you only have one night stand and thing like that because you don't want to commit to something and get hurt at the end of the day so yeah it could be about that i have not read the lyrics yet or uh someone else said that it's about uh always being in pain when you're in love so we'll read the lyrics and we'll try to make sense out of them so uh, it starts that way i can do without luck because it carries misfortune with it great lines by the way uh, i have to destroy it what i love i want to i want to fix i'm not allowed to be happy no 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 i don't love that i love something i don't like it when i like something i'm not happy when i'm happy i know though that later I'll regret it so yeah it could be uh, about a fear of commitment you know um, because yeah when you're in love you're supposed to be happy but it can lead uh, to the other way uh, to the other end of the spectrum as well because yeah love's can hurt a lot even though it's supposed to be a beautiful thing uh, after that it says I'm not allowed to be happy whoever loves me then accepts it accepts it uh, what I love it will be ruined what I love that must also die or oh, die so I hold myself harmless I'm not allowed to love then I don't need to suffer and no hearts get broken so yeah I really think it's about a fear of commitment it also says from happiness and joy follows agony for everything that's beautiful you have to pay yes so uh, basically it's saying that at the end of the day uh, even if you have a great relationship you're happy for the price uh, no that's what not what I wanted to say uh, you're happy for a while and then you'll have to pay the price eventually um, but I don't know I don't really believe in that 
but I understand why someone could say that. Uh, if it's like bad relationships after bad relationships, that's definitely the way you'll think. So, yeah, I think I did a great job analyzing this song, unlike some of the other songs I did by Rammstein in which I was like really struggling. But yeah, most of the time their lyrics are not that complicated. Uh, some for some of the songs, yes, they are like. Um, for Deutschland, there were so many things in the music video that I was just lost and not being a German, I was not able to understand everything and to comprehend everything, which pissed off a lot of people, I understand that, but it's so hard when you're not from there and you don't have the uh, cultural, like, I don't know what's the word, but all the cultures in you, it's harder to understand. I'm from Canada personally, so uh, I'm sure a lot of people around the world don't know shit about my history, so uh, I try to uh, know the biggest amount of things as possible, so I'm always um, willing to learn new things. Just be polite when you're trying to uh, make me learn something, just don't be like, oh, you're a fucking idiot, you don't know that, fuck you. That's not the way to go. Uh, if you want me to learn something, just be polite and I'll be really fucking happy to learn. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because, like I said, I'll do the rest of the album. You can even activate the notifications if you want. That way you won't miss any upcoming Rammstein reaction. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. I'll see you all next time.